Hello guys, this is the next set I'm reviewing in the same day. This is the Legend of Chima review, and I can't really tell you the name, but the minifigure that I'm about to get here is Raz Cow, and he's pretty cool, so I'll show you him in a minute. Comes with two manuals. I didn't say in my other reviews, so go watch them quickly, and then come on to this one, because it's my third one today. So I'm just going to show you the, the Chima box. As you can see, I just fixed it. What on my camera I can't do. And all the spare bits are in the box. So. I'm not going to show you them in this review. A bit like how in the other reviews I didn't show you the back of the box. What I'm going to show you now. And it just shows you like the little things you can do. So I'm just going to see if I can... Buildable weapon. That's what it is. And it also, you have to put it onto the bird as well. And I was sitting there thinking, where are these pieces gone? I've lost the pieces. I hadn't lost the pieces. I'm just an empty. So that's the box. Right, so on to the actual minifigure. Because I think the minifigure is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is the minifigure. Got a really good headpiece, I must say. Let me just take it off and show you it. Okay, I'll show you the minifigure first thing because the headpiece don't want to focus. Really good wings and a good thing at the front here. I'll show you the wings. The wings are a new mould, I reckon. I'm not sure, but the oh, the face is double sided. I didn't realise. Angry, happy, angry, happy. Well, that's a nice surprise, isn't it? Right, so let's just take off the head and show you the torso then. Just destroy my minifigure. So I'm just trying to focus on it. There we go. So it looks very spangly and it's really cool. So that's that. But now on to the main feature, which is the weird flying thing. Now, it took me a bit to recognise what it actually was, and then I realised, so it's pretty cool, it's, uh, you tell me what you think it is, I'm going to have to put it back on my surface to review it, you just focus on it, right, so tell me what you think it is first, give you a couple of seconds, right, I'll tell you what it is, it's a bird, I didn't realise this, and then I realised it was a bird, and then I realised you had to have a bird contraption, normal, right, um, so, I don't know why his legs are a bit jubbly, I don't know. Oh, so here's the actual thing. There's, like, that bit there. It looks really cool. I must say, it's got some really cool elements on it as well. So, I'm going to show you them in a minute. But I'm just going to show you 360. And you got some really cool wings here, I must say. And I'm going to show you the weapon as well after this. And here's a little feature. What you have to do is you see like this little thing at the front. It looks a bit like a flick fire. However, when I click that bit at the back. Look at this bit. It shoots out. And I thought that was a good touch. And you do get like that little rock piece up there. So you've got some new pieces in this. Now I'm just going to show you the weapon bit. Now, let me just see it. Now you're going to think, why is he ripping the bird up into pieces? Now that is because part of the weapon is on there. So let me just face you there and then get all the weapon off. And then put it together and I'll be with you in one second, sorry. Here is the weapon, and it's made out of bits of the bird, well, the vehicle, the contraption. Let me just put that in my hand. And as you can see, we've got some new pieces there, and it looks a bit like a halo sword, to what I know, but that's what I think. Uh, you can sit the bird in the vehicle, I think. I'm not really that sure, I've not tried it out yet. So it's a, it's a bit like the 
the double-sided head. Like, that shocked me. When If he can sit in the seat, that will surprise me too. Because his wings are so big that they don't look like they can. Fair enough. There we go. There's his little face again. Little mumsy face. And there's his head face. Let's put his head back on. Now, Oh, yeah, the head. I was going to show you the head. There's the head there. It's very nice, very detailed. Looks a bit like a cabaret mask, I think the word is. I can't really remember. I'm I'm a lover of theatre, so, you know, there you go for you. Right, let's have a little look and see if he's in a bird. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's... No, yep, it's a bird. It's a bird. Let's just get him in. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, bird, yeah. Don't tell me he's not going to fit in. And that'll be his little... Oh, no, that was the... Had to move the hand. Oh, that's a pleasant surprise. His wings fit in. That's nice. You can actually move the wings if you want to. Like, you can have them point them back a bit. They do move. So, that's that really. And I think that is the end of the review. And you can slant up the bird a bit to make it look like it's flying. That's the end of the review. Thanks for watching. I've got one more thing to review, and you'll see because it will be like so over there. Right, so what I want you to do after you've watched this video comment, rate, and subscribe because it means so much. And I may be doing a giveaway soon, so thanks for watching.